The Kern County Elections Office says your mail-in ballots will start going out in a month. With only two months away from the California primary election, the election buzz is already happening this week at the Kern County Board of Supervisors meeting. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan joins us in the Live Center to tell us why Kern County's voting process was in jeopardy. Kristen. Brianna, in just a couple of days, the Kern County Elections Office will post the candidate list on their website, but we already broke it down for you on our website, turn to 23.com. Now ahead of these elections, people were questioning the way their votes were counted. Election ballots are being mailed out May 9th, ahead of the June 7th primary elections. Then there are the midterm elections in November. And since 2016, Kern County has been using Dominion voting systems to count those votes. But the prepayment for the agreement with that system expired back on December 31st. An agreement which, if not approved, Kern County's Registrar of Voters, Mary Bedard, says could have halted the elections in June. It's the only equipment we've got. We can't conduct the election unless we have paid the license fees for this equipment, and then we can use this equipment for the elections. A hand count of 100% of every race on every ballot, um, yes, would take months. And so you would never, you know, you wouldn't be able to certify in time. She adds Kern County has been using machine count in various forms for decades. On Tuesday, the Kern County Board of Supervisors voting on an amendment to renew the agreement and move to an annual licensing fee. Good morning. But the public explaining their disapproval in an open comment. Dominion's own CEO, Eric Coomer, explained how to alter votes in the machines and, and discuss vote switching. So please, for the sake of our elections and our election security, do not renew this Dominion contract. I totally have lost confidence that we're going in the right direction, on that we will have a fair election. I don't mind losing. <laughs> I just want to lose the right way. There is a lack of integrity. If we do not have integrity in our voting system, we will lose our nation. The motion ended up being approved. And she says that Dominion voting systems have been investigated. Former Attorney General William Barr had stated in 2020 that both the Department of Justice and the FBI had investigated uh, some of these claims, or all of the claims as, as I understand it. Um, I know the Department of Homeland Security had also investigated it. And none of the claims about you know having any problems with the Dominion equipment, nothing has been substantiated. Bedard also says that Kern County historically has had low voter turnout, but added that both the state and federal governments and the Kern County Elections Office verify the system's validity before each election. This includes logic and accuracy tests, then standard tests after the elections. There is what's called a 1% man manual tally, and that with that, it's basically just you're taking 1%, you'd randomly draw 1% of all the precincts, and then you do a manual count of the ballots for all the votes in those precincts, compare it against what the machine tabulation was and, uh, you know, to determine if there's any variance. And, and in our case, there's never been any variance. Uh, and we'll also have information about those lawsuits on our website, turn to 23.com. Just click on these links and they'll come up right there for you. We also reached out to Supervisor David Couch about his comments during that meeting and he could not do an interview today. Live in studio, Kristen Vartan, 23 ABC News, connecting you.